Welcome back to the Photoshop Training Channel. I'm Jesus Ramirez. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new super resolution feature in the Adobe Camera Raw plugin. This feature utilizes machine learning technology to double the image resolution of your images while maintaining clean edges and preserving small details. This is the perfect solution for taking your small resolution images and now putting them into large displays or large prints. If you want to follow along with me, make sure that you look below in the description for a link to my website where you will find one of the raw files that I'll be using in today's tutorial. All right, let's jump right into it. We're going to start in Adobe Bridge. These are the five images that I'll be using today, but in reality, we only need one, but I wanna have different images to show you different things. So we're going to start with Adobe Bridge because I want to make it very clear that the super resolution feature only works in the Camera Raw plugin and not the Camera Raw filter inside of Photoshop. You can still open up your raw images from inside of Photoshop and end up in the Camera Raw plugin, but starting from Bridge just makes it all more obvious. So again, this new feature only works in the Adobe Camera Raw plugin and not the filter inside of Photoshop. Also, if you're wondering, this feature is not currently available in Lightroom, but Adobe says that it'll be coming very soon. Back on Adobe Bridge, you can see my raw images here. And the first step is to open up an image in Camera Raw. You can open up an image in Camera Raw by simply right clicking on it and selecting Open in Camera Raw. You can also click on this icon, Open in Camera Raw, and it will bring up the Camera Raw plugin. And I should mention the super resolution works with JPEG images, PNGs, and TIFFs as well. From here, I have my film strip enabled, so make sure that you enable yours so you can see the image and you can see the resulting image when we create the enhancement. To enhance this image, all you need to do is right click on it and select enhance. You could also click on the three dot icon and select enhance or use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift D on Windows or Command Shift D on the Mac. When you enable that, this window will come up and from here, you can apply the raw details which are applied automatically when you apply the super resolution. So the super resolution is doubling the image resolution and the raw details enhances the details in raw images. Also notice that we have an estimated completion time this enhancement uses a GPU in your machine, so if you have a good GPU, then this will be a lot faster. So for me, this will take about six seconds. The preview window shows you the resulting image. Notice that it's currently set to enhance, but if you click, you'll see the image without the enhancement. You can also move this window to the side and click anywhere on your image, and you can see how the preview window moves to that location. I'm gonna go here so that we can see this sign. And if I enable super resolution, you can see what the sign looks like with just the raw details applied. And I can uncheck this and you can see the original image. Raw details was added to camera raw in 2019. And what's new this year is the super resolution feature. So when you enable super resolution, raw details gets enabled by default. And this is the enhanced version. As you can see, super resolution enlarged the image without creating blurry details. It maintained clean edges and preserve all the important details. All you need to do now is click on the enhance button and camera raw would take about six seconds to create the new image and you can see that here. And notice that this is a DNG, a digital negative. This is an Adobe file type. The original one was a .NEF. Both of these files are raw images and the changes that I've made to my original image are also carried over to the DNG and I can continue fine tuning the image if I want. And in a lot of cases, you are going to want to make adjustments because the super resolution affects the detail in the image. So if you've applied any sharpening, any noise reduction, clarity or texture, you might want to go in there and check those sliders out to make sure that the image still looks good. And you can do so by setting the image to 100%. You can just click on this drop down, set it to 100% and then come in here and adjust any texture and those other sliders that I mentioned earlier, like detail and noise reduction to make sure that everything's still working. Something else that I should mention is that if you have cropped your image, the DNG does not lose any of the crop pixels. So you can always come back and readjust your crop. 
And this probably raises a question, what should I do? Should I apply the super resolution first and then develop my image or develop my image and then apply the super resolution? To be frank with you, it really doesn't matter. Everything's non-destructive, but given the choice, I would just do the super resolution first and then develop my image. But in a lot of cases, you're probably going to be working with old images that you've might already develop, but you know, you can always come back and make changes. Everything is non-destructive. And also I want to point out that Super resolution doubles the linear resolution of the photo. This means that the result will have twice the width and twice the height of the original photo or four times the total pixel count. Notice that the resulting image is 12,000 by 7,832 at 94 megapixels and the original image is 5,548 by 3,393 at 18.8 .8 megapixels. I'm going to simply click on done so we can go back into Adobe Bridge and you can see my enhanced DNG here. You can also batch apply the super resolution to multiple images. To do so, just go into Bridge and hold Shift and click on multiple images. Then click on the Camera Raw icon to open the three images in Camera Raw. You will have to select all three again by holding Shift and clicking on all and then going into the enhance feature and the preview window will show you just the one on top, the main image. You can just click around in the main image and you can see the preview window here. Unfortunately, you cannot switch over to the other ones, but you can see that when you click on the enhance button, you will enhance three photos, not just the one. So that's how you will do three at once. And I'm going to cancel this and show you another thing with this image. So I'm going to select it, click on camera raw, and you can actually apply this effect without going into the dialog box. You can just simply apply it right into the image. And the way that you would do that is by holding Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, right clicking and selecting Enhance. And Camera Raw, as you can see, is already applying that Enhance effect. It'll remember your last settings and it will create the duplicate copy. You'll see it here in just one second. And there it is. Here's my enhanced version that has the higher resolution. So you can skip the dialog box if you want. Unfortunately, adding the Alt key to the shortcut I mentioned earlier will not work. That's a shame, but you can still hold the Alt key and right click on the image and select Enhance or go into the three dot icon and select Enhance. A couple of things that I should mention is that there are some limitations in Camera Raw. If the resulting image, the enhanced image, exceeds 65,000 pixels on the long end or 500 megapixels, this will not work. You'll just get a notification that says that the image is too big and Camera Raw cannot perform the enhancement. So keep that in mind. And also, you cannot apply this effect twice on an image. So once you apply the enhancement, you cannot come back and reapply it again to make it even larger. What you can do is go inside of Photoshop and use the image size command to make your image larger. And if you want to learn how to make your images larger without losing detail inside of the image size command inside of Photoshop, then make sure you check out this video. There's also a link to it below in the description. Thanks so much for watching.